Hello, my name is Car City 2 and welcome back. Well, I'm in a factory playthrough. I am just in my circuit room because I think I'm going to set up one for um, wetwares as well, I think. I might as well get these going because we use them quite a bit. So I might as well get a stack of those going. Um, I am auto crafting them already because uh, obviously we uh, have them in our neuro boards, but we might as well um, get a thing set up for those. It's kind of funny how long this line is. Um, are we actually? Yes, we're making, we're gaining on wetwares, and I think we're about breaking even on stem cells. I can't remember. It dropped quite a bit, and I threw down a new one. I think we're about breaking even on those, and those are going up, and we are up to almost 17,000 neuro boards. This just runs continuously. Um, which is pretty cool. Uh, yeah, how much are we, we had? We had 80,000 of those at one point. What are we down? We're down to 47,000, so we're slowly chewing through those. Um, that was pretty funny. But uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna set up a wetware thing and I can actually, actually have one right here even think about that um i crafted up i crafted up a bunch of assemblers accidentally Let's see yeah, that doesn't need to be connected anymore uh when i was crafting up i craft i meant to craft up four chemical reactors to expand this and i accidentally crafted up uh, zpm assemblers so I actually had extra, but uh, yeah, we'll just leave those in there. I'm sure we'll use them at some point, but yeah. Um, I'm going to try this a little differently, and we'll see what we like better. And um, this was mentioned in the comments. I'm sorry, I don't have the the screen, the name pulled up um, at the moment. But uh, I'm going to try out a, a viewer suggestion. And instead of doing it like this, which I kind of like, and using the limited item filters and a export bus with a crafting card. I'm gonna try a different way and that is basically using a robot arm. This will probably be plenty fast enough. Basically use the robot arm on top like that and then you use an interface to keep the items in stock. Now, we'll see what I prefer. Just looking at that, to be honest, I kind of prefer that way. <laughs> but uh, I also could probably do... We could probably move that down and use a robot arm like this. I probably don't... I don't need the limited filter. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I'm just curious what would work better. Would it be... This, I'm kind of thinking this way would actually be better, to be honest, because if I have three different items in here, I think it can craft all three at the same time, whereas an export bus with a crafting card, it only does one at a time. So this would probably be more efficient. Um, but, you know, if I end up liking this the way this looks better, I don't know. I'm not sure. So I think, uh, yeah, let's do a stack of those. And then what else do we need? The wetware boards, a stack of those. And, um, oh man, what's the other thing? Wait, I don't think it was, I don't even remember what's in the, what the heck is in these again? Oh, I just broke down the the thing it's no it's it's not niobium wires what am i talking about yeah asoc oh. um let's we'll craft more of those just so i want to keep like 100, a hundred st one stack i think and then um the quadria alloy yeah just the one x
And a crafting card. <clears throat> well, like I said, we'll see what I prefer. So basically we do that, that, and that. Crafting card. It'll keep those stocked. I'm going to do an interface there. Don't need to show that because we're not putting anything in it. I do need to put... Yeah, I do need to get uh, that um, sterilized stuff in there. And I think one of those is plenty fast stuff. Um, yeah, we'll just do an export plus. I could do a creative tank of it, but uh, it seems to be okay. <laughs> and that, that thing is hard to watch. It's pumping fluids out to my whole base. Alright, so that in there. Alright, we can actually no. So what where is what is it? One, four, and four is it? Man. Yeah, one, four, and four. So we'll do import. Oh, I forgot to do a item filter. Import. Keep exact, right? Yeah. Um, actually, I'm going to do two, I think 288 would be better. Uh, just so there's always, there's no, like, delay. When it finishes a thing, there won't be a delay. So, two, eight, eight. That should keep exact in there. I do that. Yep, see, so yeah, as we can see, it's almost instantaneous, which is pretty cool. Right? Oh, I have it. Uh, <laughs> duh. Um, I have it turned off uh, with the, the thing. So, all right, let me grab one of those. I guess we'll do 100,000. We might as well. We have 100,000 of all the other circuits. Why not do that? All right, it just turned on. I saw it. So. Uh, I need to invert. All right, there we go. I like having it inverted, so if the light's on, it is running. I don't want to have, like, the light on when it's turned off. That just seems kind of funny. All right, there's that. Let's go and throw a storage bus on here. Or that's not what I wanted. That one. Priority. Yeah, there we go. And I know this is completely like <laughs> superfluous. It doesn't really do anything having the thing there, but I like having it as a indicator. It's fun when they all light up when I do big crafts. Yeah, and then um, throw that on the back. And connect it. And that should be. In there, we'll connect that. I'm still debating about having these export buses. I may just get rid of them. I'm not moving the chest, though. I just kind of like having the three rows, to be honest. I just think it looks cool. And then. Um... That should be going in that chest. Let me just double check. Yes, unfortunately, those basically are lost. It does not see those, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, that's what it is. All right, so there is that. And uh, one last recipe that AES to calculate when it's crafting up these 
big complicated recipes um, is good in my book. All right, last episode, we went ahead and got the drum. I have got a couple more infinity things. I needed one more. Um, I'm thinking probably... I think having more than one infinity catalyst in here would be a bit much because each one of these cards is a heart of the universe. So if I have like two in here, uh, if I take it out, it'll try to craft up two, which would be two hearts of the universe, which would be two tier tens, two tier nines, 30 something tier. I think that's getting a little adventurous there. <laughs> um, I think that'll kind of break my A system. So yeah, that is kind of what I am working on. Um, <clears throat> towards the creative vending machine. Um, so let me continue working on. We need one more infinity catalyst to get the, the three drums that we need. And uh, I think I did mention this. I'm kind of putting it off because I, uh, I just don't want to. Um, the ultimate batteries be there. These things that over there so i remember yeah getting all this lapatronic the lapatron crystals zero point modules i need to get all this automated and i'm kind of putting it off um i don't know how many we're gonna need of these we're gonna need quite a few overall so like four of those and four of those and Two of those, so four, eight, ten. So we need about forty of these. Forty max batteries is um, that's not insignificant because you need tons of these engraved laser chips, and I don't see any other way to do it other than crafting these up. Um, thankfully, if you remember, I almost voided all my laz lazarite. I ended up not so. We have tons of that, at least. Um, all right, let me cut here. Let me get kind of sorted out how I want to tackle this. I think the first thing we're gonna have to do is autoclave these energy crystals. And we can see they're very slow, ruby dust. I should have a decent, okay. Yeah, I stopped processing our ruby dust into, I stopped processing it into, um, Chrome, so thankfully we have quite a bit of Ruby. And, uh, yeah, I need this recipe for emeralds as well, so we're getting a decent byproduct there. All right, yeah, like I said, let me cut here and we'll come back. All right, we're uh, back and doing pretty well with the wetwares. They are chugging along, but they are, it's a slow recipe, so it's gonna take a while. But, uh, yeah, probably, probably easier just to do it this way. I may, I kind of like seeing the things, though. I don't know. I'll see what I decide. I, I have a feeling I'll probably just, well, these work. I mean, it's not, it's not like they don't work. Um, like, but uh, I kind of like, the only thing... The only thing I like better on this is that it can craft each of these at the same time. Whereas, say this has to do this one and then it'll move on to the next ones. That's my only kind of complaint with doing it this way. Um, I think this looks nicer than that, but uh, I don't know. I'll just leave it and uh, we'll see. Either way, I'll do it one way or the other. <laughs> I don't want uh, two different ways to do it, but uh, yeah been doing some crafting kind of like having the um i like having one of these i may try adding a a second one i don't know i just feel like that may get kind of crazy laggy if i try to do two especially when i use up all these hearts i need to get more of these going too um i do have 19 but we're gonna need like 300 more so i need to get those crafting up um but yeah so i've been let me just get this stuff in here i think it was like that wasn't it 
if I remember. Yeah. Um, been doing some recipes. Uh, I've got all the batteries put in there. Easy enough. I crafted up a canning machine, a ZPM one. I hit a room. And uh, I've gotten all the way up to the Lapatron crystals. I'm going to do the Lazarites because, as we remember, we have uh, 46,000. We get more every time we do Lapis. It's a byproduct from this, although we have tons of Lapis at the moment. Probably not going to need that for a while. Um, uh, be careful with this recipe. Make sure you put the energy crystal in manually and or dictionary because that causes some issues. I think it's like the MBT data causes issues with that. So yeah, make sure you do that manually. And uh, yeah, so that got that. So we have a recipe for that. Easy enough. It does use quite a lot of rubies. Ruby dust though, but I think this is basically, we need, well, don't we need like 40 of these? What did I say? I counted 40. I mean, yeah, that guess that does kind of add up, but uh, like I said, we do get the ruby dust from when we need emeralds and we need a lot of, or perfect emeralds. We need a lot of those for the crystal circuits, so all right, so gotten up to that one. So we need the Lapatronic Energy Orb is next. And then the Lapatronic Energy Orb Cluster. Then we have zero point modules. We have those relatively easy uh, to craft up. It's not even like any lag or anything. These things are still kind of annoying, but we should have plenty of redstone. Yeah, we have 75,000. <laughs> That's more. I'm just going to get rid of this i kind of just um as i'm kind of going through i'm like oh i don't need that i don't need that i kind of just get rid of it like i'm never gonna need that redstone ore ever so just delete it um so as i'm kind of going through this system and i just see stuff that we're never gonna use i just kind of throw out um Anyway, I just, I don't know. I, that was going off on a tangent. Diamond shears, we're not going to need it anymore because I actually, I got dark shears. I don't know if I ever showed that off. Dark shears and stellar axe empowered them uh, for that. By the way, I don't know if there's any way to, is there any way to repair that? I went and put a stellar ingot in the thing, but it didn't repair. The dark shears repair with dark steel, but... Yeah, Stellar X didn't. What's that actually? Is actually Addictions in... Yeah, actually Addictions is in here, isn't it? Isn't there like a... Isn't there a repair thing? I wonder if it's disabled. I feel like it wouldn't be disabled in this pack, but maybe it is. What, is it armor or something? Isn't it like an armor repair or something? Anyway, I'm not really seeing it. Pretty sure that's a thing, isn't it? Actually, additions. All right, so what are we looking at? Soldering alloy, yeah, I guess these recipes, no, they're, the, uh, the thing is. It's just tin or soldering alloy, but everything else is the same. So this will do that. And then, We'll do that. Do I have Europium? Right, I do have a hundred thousand. I don't know why I have a hundred thousand, but <laughs> I don't think I need quite that much. Now, soldering alloy. That's I'm trying to remember what that would. Oh man, I moved a lot of those. Do I have an assembler with? Oh, I do. It's this one. Ah, right. That's right. So we do have a thing. Cool. All right. So, Lapatronic. See if this works. I just want to make sure this, all this stuff works. 
because I had the issue. It does. Yeah, nice. All right. Is it? Did it? Did it work? Oh, it did work. Nice. Lapatronic energy or cluster. I mean, these things are, they're not difficult, but uh, if you remember from Greg Tech New Horizons, these things get crazy. It's not going to be too bad, I don't think. Um, but when they, just the amount of stuff that you need just exponentially increases with every tier. And I remember, I have like <laughs> PTSD from <laughs> Greg Tech New Horizons and the battery. Um, Alright, I guess we can just do that. We, we have water on this one, right? We're not going to have to craft too many up, so I'm not overly concerned. I'm like, I don't, we don't need to like throw it on like a new assembler or anything like that. I'll probably just do, you know, craft up as many as we need and then we'll never have to worry about it again is what I'm thinking. What was I doing? Ultimate battery. No, max. There it is. That doesn't even look that complicated. There is some UV components in it, but that's not. That's not what I wanted. I know I should be taking the <laughs> the viaduct, but I do more when I'm um, when I'm playing by myself. But uh, when we're recording, I uh, it's easier just to take the teleports around if we. Yeah, all right, so did we get the... All right, that is kind of slow. The mixer, no, the mixer is in here. I don't remember where we put it. What mixer are we using? It must be... All right, let's speed that up. We can use this one at least. Do I have a mixer? Well, we're never going to use that again. That Nequadria recipe, never need to do it again. So there's no point in having that there. There's probably no point in having that fluid extractor there either. Must be next door. All right. I thought I had upgraded our mixer. Mixer, where are you? I'm crazy. I must be crazy because I am not seeing that. There. Yeah, all right. We did have it in there. I thought we did. I guess I could just... Why didn't I... I could just move a wall. I don't know why I only picked that one. <laughs> I'll get him in a second. But uh, I think I may need to do that, yeah. Where'd my cables go? Did I... I must have thrown back in here. Cracked up another hundred. Lurix dust. Oh. Because I... <laughs> pulverized in that machine and I broke that. Got scared there for a second. Yeah, there we go. Now they get pulverized in here. All right. All right, well, we got the orb cluster, so that's good. Just kind of want to see. It's not, it's still not super fast. But it's not not terrible. But the problem is when you start when you need thousands. Man, this stuff over here really needs to be not there. Um, I th I don't know if we need. 
We have 80,000. That is... I don't know if that's enough. That's 40,000 wyvern. Should I start getting... <laughs> Should we craft up 40,000? <laughs> Alright, we can't craft up that many because we only store at 100,000. That's kind of funny. Um, I, th I think we needed like 70,000 in total if I... I'm correct with that, but uh, anyway, getting distracted again. Is that no? All right, so yeah, that is pretty slow. I could do, I really need a room like a UV room to be honest with UV machine. I could just change these machines to maybe I'll do that. Should we do that? Should we start crafting up a few UV machines for like super, super slow recipes? There's been a couple that I thought I would prefer having. Like this one is so slow, I would rather have that on you. Now that power is not an issue. I don't know. I'll think about that. Alright, but uh, apparently we can craft up an ultimate battery here. Let me, uh, I'm going to cut here because I need to make sure everything works and it's kind of boring just watching. I mean, it's not boring for me. I think this is so much fun watching all this stuff work and uh, kind of seeing where I can improve stuff, but kind of boring when I'm recording. So uh, let me cut here and we'll come back. All right, this is the last one. It does appear to be working okay. Everything worked out. I definitely think I'm going to... Well, I don't know. Like I said, I can just always just kind of craft this stuff up. And, I mean, there's... Is it worth spending a whole bunch of time on it? Uh, speeding this stuff up when... Max battery, not ultimate battery. I keep calling it the ultimate battery. Um, I don't know why I'm... There's no quest for it or anything. What's that? Oh, right, Lapaton crystals. Yeah, I don't know, there's like no quest for it, but uh, there's a max battery. We could, in theory, get this going. I think not that. This isn't a very difficult recipe, to be honest. Um, just lots and lots of angerium and ruby. Is there really no way There's no way to get this. Yeah, there's no way. Ruby. I don't think there's any way to get Ruby Dust. I mean, in theory, I could do Redstone and that and get Ruby. But uh, we did use about a thousand. Not quite, about 900. So we're going to need a lot more Ruby. Hmm. All right, well, that's good to know. Well, and that's like 40,000. We need 40 of these? Oof. We need 40,000 ruby. I'm going to have to, uh, I'm going to have to get those things going. The tier 3 going here. That's only 64. Hmm. I may need to set up that redstone and basically just void these three and keep the ruby maybe i'll have to do that just to get it up and running and collecting ruby dust maybe i'll do that um i do think i want to you know what maybe i will maybe i will uh get some uv i'll replace those luv machines with uv maybe maybe that's what i'll do yeah so, like, for example, we'll do that one. Using those is a bit annoying, but we have a pretty <laughs> pretty decent amount at this point. All right, so I'll work on this, and, uh, yeah, next episode we'll come back. That is our first ultimate power storage for that so 
Maybe we can... I mean, this is super easy. Yeah, maybe we can craft up one of these creative energy cells and get that going. The hardest thing here, I think, would be the solar panels because they use so much infinity. But everything else, nothing seems too terrible, to be honest. All this stuff, basically, just... It's just a smelter recipe. I mean, that's easy. So, uh... Yeah. Gonna start getting these crafted up. I'm glad we got everything. Yeah, and I will upgrade some of our stuff, and we'll come back and, uh... Let's see if we can get any more... Anything else on? I do want to get this going. I mean, it's relatively easy. It's just annoying. Just a lot of manual kind of crafting, I think. But, uh, yeah, it's not too bad. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. So thanks for watching, and have a good one.